Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last recording session, we took down Brock. I mean, hell, before we took down Brock, went through uh, Viridian Forest. And not only that, but we also went through Mount Moon. And here we are at Route 4. In this recording session, well, let's see how much we can get done. We got some two guys here. How's it going, lads? A punch of roaring ferocity, packed with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, let me teach to your Pokemon. This move can be learned only once. Is that okay? Fine. Which Pokemon will learn it? So, Mega Punch is an interesting move. I don't know if I'm gonna teach it to anyone. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll teach you the Pikachu. Why not? Give him another move to work with. I don't think I'm gonna use uh, Double Team anytime soon. It's an 80 power, 85 accuracy move. Not too shabby. Give, uh, I guess I'll give Pikachu an option besides using, I don't know, Thundershock. <laughs> so why not? Let's teach him it. Now we are comrades in the way of punching. You should go before you're seen by the misguided fool who trains only his silly kicking over there. So yes, he too also teaches another move as well. Let's see what you got. A kick of brutal ferocity packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to your Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Mega Kick is a nice move. It's a really powerful move, but it only has 5 PP. And Mega Punch has more PP. Uh, so, yeah. But I mean, if you want to teach it to any of your Pokemon, uh, definitely consider it. I'm just... I just don't know how much Mega Punch and Mega Kick are going to work on Pikachu, considering that Pikachu does special attacks more than physical attacks, so... Yeah. Oh, and one thing that I kind of want to address right now... So you guys know how I've been cutting out, like, random battles? Well, I'm deciding to kind of change that editing style. I'm not going to be cutting out random battles, but I will be cutting out any sort of trips to the Pokemon Center, or just any and all grinding. That's still something that I'm going to continue doing, but... Considering that random battles, all I do is just go and hit run, like, for every one of them. I feel like it's unnecessary to just cut them out. I don't know. It's just it's just work that, if I'm gonna be honest, doesn't really... Doesn't really feel like it's needed. Oh, I got a new Pokemon for this route. Sand true. It's an okay ground type, to be honest. I don't really care too much for Santru. It's not one of the ground types I would use, but I don't know. It for me, the thing about Santru is that it doesn't learn a lot of ground type moves through leveling. I mean, when it evolves, it definitely becomes a bit faster. But I don't know, man. For for ground types, I might give Santru a pass. It's it's not something I personally would use. Yeah, you can kind of see Pikachu is not exactly what we call a uh, fighter of sorts. He's She's more of a she's more of a special attacker. And of course there's that accuracy. Really coming in hot there. Alright, hit him with a, hit her with a mega punch. Very nice. But yeah. I think if you're playing Fire Red, you can encounter Ekans here. I Again, with regards to Ekans, I just nah. I would rather get something like Grimer or Coughing over Reckons if you were able to find that later in your adventure. But welcome to Cerulean City. Let's talk to some people. If that slow bro wasn't there, you could cut that, uh, cut down the small tree. That way, you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. Well, why doesn't anyone just tell the slow bro to go away? You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon. That sounds amusing. Oh, okay. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Let's check out the bike shop. Plain City Bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a shopping basket on a mountain bike. Oh, but mountain bikes are kind of cool. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. How expensive are we talking? Hi, right, welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just the bike for you? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting a hold of a bicycle anytime soon here. That's a million poke dollars. I don't got that kind of money, fam. Alright, well, I guess we'll just leave that place for now. What's up, bur oh, Actually, we already talked to you, so it's no big deal. So, let's see. 
What do we got in here? Hello, old man. Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you've at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? So this is kind of interesting. I know I could have described, at least when we got Brock's badge, uh, what these badges can essentially help with with regards to giving you a little bit of an extra boost. But hey, since we got this man here that can explain to us all the badges, let's go ahead and find out what they all do. The Boulder Badge, the attack stat of all of your Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use the move Flash out of, uh, outside of battle. Now then, let's learn about the Cascade Badge. Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. That includes even outsiders you obtain in trades. Pokemon of higher levels will be unruly in battle, however. It also lets you use the move Cut outside of battle. What about the Thunder Badge? The speed stat of all of your Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use the move Fly outside of battle. Let's see about the Rain Badge, or Rainbow Badge. Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. That includes even outsiders you obtain in trades. Pokemon of higher levels will be unruly in battle, however. Let's, let's use the move Strength outside of battle. What about the Soul Badge? The defense stat of all of your Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use the move Surf outside of battle. What about the Marsh Badge? Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. That includes even outsiders. Yeah, 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 we get this guy's check. It also lets you use the move Rock Smash outside of battle. And the last, well, well last two coming up. The Volcano Badge. The special attack and special defense stats of all your Pokemon rise a little bit. It also lets you use the move Waterfall outside of battle. Very interesting. All Pokemon will obey you. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. Uh, just wanted to show that off. Just says, the gym badges do a little more than let you use HMs uh, when it comes to just uh, obtaining them. And I could have swore. Here it is. Yeah, there's a rare candy you can find out here, which is kind of sick. Can't say I complain about that too much. That's pretty good. What about in here? We'll see. If you're playing Pokemon Yellow, this house is kind of... I think it's either this one or the one up above, but they're pretty important houses. My husband likes trading Pokemon. You're collecting Pokemon for your Pokedex, aren't you? Would you please trade with him? What you got, bud? Hello there. Do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade for my Jinx? I do not have a Poliwhirl, but I'll definitely keep that in the back of my mind. That does seem like quite the interesting trade. I don't know why I was walking around when I had the running shoes, but eh, oh well. Let's heal me up. Heal me up, Nurse Joy. Thank you. Well, I hope to see you again as well. That Bill, I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things, I've heard. That's pretty creepy. Why don't you go upstairs and try trading Pokemon with your friends? You can get a lot of more variety by trading. The more po the more Pokemon you get in trades, grow quickly too. Uh, it's more like the Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly, but yeah, you get the idea. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones too. So yeah, unfortunately I can't really show off the trading. I don't really have anyone to trade with, to be honest, but... Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? I mean, you're not wrong, to be fair. Especially with those when it comes to certain breeding and stuff like that. People will definitely boast about that. Sigh, too much time, too little to do. Is nothing entertaining happening anywhere? My man sucked into that TV. Got a Mart here. Let's go see what we can pick up from it. Got some super potions. I might consider that. I definitely want some status healers. Just because they are very helpful. I'll buy like four more of these, I guess. Uh, let's see. Maybe repels might be a little nice to have as well. Can't say I'm uh, opposed to the idea of picking up a few. Definitely buy more Pokeballs. Actually... No, we have 10. We're, we're fine. We'll buy a f uh, we'll buy the rest with our money with potions. Alright. I'm out. Deuce, Pokemart man. What do you have to say? Slowbro, withdraw. No, that's wrong. It's so hard to control Pokemon. Your Pokemon's obedience depends on your abilities as a trainer. 
Slowbro took a snooze. <laughs> nice, man. You're a trainer, too. Collecting, battling. It's a tough life, isn't it? I don't know if I'd say it's a tough life. I mean, you're going on an adventure, bro. So, I believe... And I kind of wish I said this in an earlier part. But there is... Uh, something that I do recommend uh, that you guys and gals do uh, when it comes to playing, at the very least, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green and possibly Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, though this is something you're going to be doing pretty much all the time in that game, is that you should definitely go out and catch any and all new Pokemon that you come across. And the reason why is because, let's just say you get something pretty neat for doing so, and it's going to benefit you more than harm you. Let's just say that. I mean, you don't have to use the Pokemon, but definitely catch new ones as you come across them. Now, I know some of you are all like, well, isn't that the motto of the whole series? But, eh. <laughs> I don't like to catch, uh, sometimes I don't like to catch, uh, things that aren't that great. <laughs> but for this game, it's definitely beneficial that you do. And I think even red, blue, and yellow, uh, you'll also benefit. Because there are certain individuals that you can talk to that will hand you some pretty nifty stuff, so... We've got the Sandshrew. I'm not going to carry him with us. You can if you want. Alright. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's have Pikachu just hang around. For the main lead. I want to do a little bit more exploring and uh, check around Cerulean City for a bit. Because it's kind of interesting, it's that, you know, when I play a lot of Pokemon games, you know, at least when I was a kid, I didn't really go out and talk to a lot of NPCs, and I didn't really, um, really explore or do much. I mean, I kind of just went from point A to point B, even kind of avoiding trainers all out, right, even though I don't do that now these days. But, it's something that, uh, I think I'm going to enjoy doing here. I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, do you have any interest in berries? Sure. Why must you lie to me? How many berries do you have? Not a one. Well, that's rude. I do have somewhat of an interest in berries, but no. I guess I have to have berries in order to be interested. Oh, shit. Yo, Taylor, you still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Taylor. Gary, I don't wanna, though. Alright, here we go. Pidgeotto, and it's at level 17. Alright. Let's start off with a Thunder Wave. Gotta hit you with that. Oh, no. Why must you do this? Hopefully, uh... Pidgeotto is hit with paralysis with regards to not being able to do anything for a turn. Dude, no. This is such a dumb strat. I hate this strat. Hey, let's just hit you with sand attack all day. Like, you know what? Screw you, Gary. I hate this clown. I'm switching. I'm not I'm not dealing with that. That's just gonna bone me harder than anything else. Okay, we just got half health pretty nicely. I'm gonna switch again. I mean, I'll get Spiro some experience, so I can't say that'll be a bad thing. How is this Pidgeotto so strong? Like, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, that Pidgeotto is terrifying. Alright. Rattata, I'm switching to Ivysaur, bro. I'm going to heal up my other Pokemans. Oh, you know what? I should have went over that Pidgeotto. I could have done that. Okay, so that Pidgeotto, level 17, Keen Eye for the ability, has Tackle, Gust, Stand Attack, and Quick Attack. Rattata, level 15 here. We got Tackle, Tail Whip, and Quick Attack. I can guarantee you this fine lad is probably going to spam Quick Attack because that's all Gary likes to do is to get the first hit on you. But yeah, with this rival battle, just kind of play it by ear, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start using potions because, my goodness. That sleep powder should very much make it where I can do this uh, without too much of a hassle. 
Now you're probably thinking, why not just use Leech Seed? This is the perfect opportunity. You're right, it is. And I, and I messed up. And our defense fell. Well, I'm going to put you to sleep. Stop. No. Don't do that. That's just going to spell bad news. All right. Now let's go ahead and Leech Seed Radita's face. I was going to say, did that miss? I was going to be really upset. Yeah. There we go. Get a nice HP drain going on. Let's use another potion on Pikachu. And there we go. Sucks to be you, sport. Oh, yeah. Give me that HP. All right. Time to hit you up with some Vine Whips. And here we go. Oh, what? Didn't take it out. That's kind of a shame. And of course it woke up. And of course it used quick attack. And my HP drops off like rock. Alright, I do want to... Okay. So Charmander. Level 18. Blaze for the ability. Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Metal Claw. If you chose Charmander... It'll have a Squirtle, level 18, the ability Torrent. Uh, and it'll have Tackle, Tail Whip, Bubble, and good ol' What is it? Water Gun. If you chose Squirtle, you have a Bulbasaur, level 18. Ability is Overgrow, Tackle, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. This guy's gonna hit you pretty good, but I'm gonna hit him harder. I'm gonna put him to sleep. That might kill me. It sure did, and of course, it had to be a critical hit. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? Alright, let's go ahead, throw Pikachu out there. Let's get her to throw a Thunder Wave out. It'll, it'll do more bad, it'll do more good than bad. I almost just said that it'll do more bad than good. I don't know about that. Alright, uh, this could be horribly bad. I'm just gonna say no. Why? Why are you getting the ability to attack? <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to be able to out heal that. That was just going to be quite the issue right there. I'm going to play an interesting strat here. Since it's hit with paralysis, I'm going to try to lower its accuracy at least a little bit, if possible. Ooh, okay. I'm going to keep doing this then. If we can get the advantage like this, I'm all good. Oh yeah, this is good. If we can make Charmander do nothing, then my Spearow can come out and just do some work. This is why it's always not a bad idea to carry a number of Pokemon with you. Because if you can get strategies like this, you can make it work in your favor. It's not going to be bad. I mean, this Charmander can't do anything. So, uh, uh, we take advantage of that. Oh, dude, you're in trouble now. We have dropped this Charmander's accuracy like a rock. It can't do anything. Oh, that's awesome. Very good. Its accuracy is just completely downhill. Let's try to get some chip damage in there then. Yeah. I mean, we might be. We're definitely going to be here for probably a little bit, but... I mean, considering the odds we're at right now, where he's taking out two of my uh, members, I don't think it's a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do a fur uh, fury attack. Almost just. I don't know what's with me. I can't speak English apparently. What? What? All right, hang on here. We do have a revive, so in case things really get out of hand, we'll be okay. Thank God I didn't use that revive earlier. That would have sucked for me. Okay, three times. Oh, come on, dude. Literally right at death's door. You gotta believe in yourself, Spiro. There you go, buddy. Alright, 250 experience. We love to see it. Spiro's grown to level 14. Alright, Abra, level 16. Synchronized feed ability. It only knows teleport. This is free experience. So, uh, this Abra is gonna learn today. As they say. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, dude, we love to see it. Five times, even though I wish we had that on Charmander instead, but, you know, it's okay. Spiro's pulling the weight. Hey, take it easy. You won already. And that's another way you can go about taking out Gary. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well... I better get rolling. Smell you later. Okay. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. The fame checker. A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I really am gone. Smell you.